recording. Made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next tutorial and this tutorial is going to be a bit of a relief since we've learned about casting the past four tutorials. I'm going to be learning about four uh, keywords that you might find useful in the near future. So let's say we have a boolean called is alive and let's set it equal to true. So sometimes you need, um, if you were to do stdc out, and we were to type in is alive and we set it to true then oh let me just put system pause at the end so we would get the value one which is for true and if we, was to, if we were to change the faults we get the value zero and depending on which compiler you're using you might get another um, number other than zero but let's say we wanted to actually display the value true or the value false. Uh, what we would have to do is we'd have to say, okay, if is active, then we display the value true. And uh, then we'd have to say else, and then we do false. Well, let's say if I told you there was an easier way to go about it. Well, we can, there's something called bool alpha and you would pull it in the actual stream and then every single time you do a, a boolean variable after you put bool alpha it will show the uh, the actual spelling of it so if we run this instead of it just saying the number zero it spells out false so if i was to change to, it if i was to change to true it would display the value true and um, it does that as many times as you want. So I can do that again until we put std no bool alpha. Then let's try putting it again and then we'll see how it works. So it says true, true, then the value one because we said no bool alpha. So it converts it right back to the regular way it displays and it ends this program. So another thing is we have uh, an integer value and we will uh, yeah so we have an integer value and we will set it to we'll call it integer and we'll set it to 10 and sometimes you want to convert uh, the number to say hexadecimal so if you want to do to hexadecimal you would say std hex and then you put the number. And if you want to change it to octo, OCT, you put the number. And to change it back to a decimal again, we would put STD DEC and we put the number. Now I'm wondering if you could do the the binary the same way because I never checked out how to do the binary conversion. Uh, nope, I know there is a way to do the binary conversion, so I'll leave that for homework for you guys. I just forgot at the moment. Um, but yeah, so if we put the value ten, it shows us the uh, hexadecimal, which is the letter A, the octal, which is one two, and the decimal value, which is ten. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. It was just a bit of a relief, so I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and bye for now.